and we deplore the continuing human rights abuses that, that do exist in China. Uh, we have frankly witnessed no significant improvements uh, in human rights in China since the President's May 26 decision, which uh, delinked the, the issue of most favored nation status and human rights practices. Uh, it's not to say that we believe there's been any worsening of the situation, but the, the fact is that the abuses that uh, we have seen since last May represent a continuation of exactly those uh, Chinese practices that we have objected to in the past. Now, I don't believe it's accurate to say that Secretary Brown did not raise this. He indicated that he was going to raise this at the proper uh, point during his mission, and we believe he has done so. Uh, he is also carrying with him a uh, message from the President which indicates uh, that while we seek a, uh, a growing economic relationship with uh, China that can take advantage of the potential that exists for commerce between our countries, and we also at the same time know that the differences between us on human rights issues would uh, prevent us from realizing the full potential of that relationship. Uh, so I think that uh, that's a, obviously a a communication from the highest level that uh, reaffirms our strong interest in seeing an improvement in the human rights conditions that exist in China.